Chris, a Richmond police officer caught the crash on camera and so did a witness. That officer telling us that they did get a call for a truck stuck on the tracks, but there just wasn't enough time to free it. The end result, a glimpse of what you see behind me. I was just in the back making smoothies and we heard a huge bang outside and it's obviously it was a train, we hear the train every day. Devin Dream soon realized her intuition was correct. Right around the corner from the Truff Juice Bar in Richmond, where she works, a train carrying gravel had slammed into an 18-wheeler that had gotten stuck on the tracks. Luckily, the driver was out of the cab, and the train noticed the truck, so he started slowing down and actually was able to stop another quarter mile past the bridge. By that point, the truck's trailer, which Richmond police say was carrying 19 pallets of water, totaling 44,650 pounds, had been split open, sending water bottles flying everywhere. As for why the truck got stuck. It's the grade, the incline grade of this particular intersection. No one was hurt, but crews took on a grueling cleanup process, picking up case after case and bottle after bottle for hours. It'll take much longer for those who were in the area around 10.30 this morning to forget the sound and imagery of that massive crash. I was just like, I've never seen so many water walls in my entire life, and I was really relieved to see that it wasn't the front of the 18-wheeler, and rather what was inside. There's a big... Officials advise anyone driving a truck or a vehicle that is low to the ground should avoid using the crossing here at 2nd Street and also avoid using the crossing over at 4th Street. They say use Collins Street instead, where the incline is less steep. Reporting live in Richmond tonight, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News. Good